Hello, welcome to my first ever official full length video on YouTube. I thought I'd my first ever video for YouTube would be for the AGT Vixen Genuine Owners Review. Uh, my gun I purchased uh, about two, I think it's just on two years now from Vector Air. Um, it was an X demonstration gun, I believe. I think it was, and it, it has the orange mod. Um, which was done by, by I think the gunsmith there uh, in that shop. So it's kind of like the orange mod version is uh, kind of like probably on the lines of like something what's been rat works tuned. So it's, yeah, it's knocking on for two years old. Um, the first thing I want to talk about with the Vixen is the build quality. Um. I think to do a genuine review for YouTube, um, you have to you have to have owned whatever you're reviewing for probably at least six months to get a genuine uh, owner's opinion. So you kind of like not led up the garden path. Not that I'm saying it's it's wrong that people get guns and do reviews and they, they don't own a gun, it's, it's been loaned to them or they've had it for a couple of weeks and they do a review and and that's all, that's all great, you know, but I think for a genuine review, you've got to have owned something like like a PCP air rifle for at least six months, six to 12 months, so you've shot it in all seasons, uh, see how it performs in the field and stuff like that. So. I've done probably about seven, yeah, about seven seasons now with this gun over two years. So spring, summer, autumn, winter, and it's performed flawlessly. Really, like this is my go-to gun. It, I'm knocking on fifty years old. I've owned air rifles for as long as I've been big and strong enough to hold one. Um, I'm not saying I'm an expert by any means, but. This is this is just my genuine opinion and it's a genuine owner's review. I'll try and do my best. This is my first video. There's going to be no edits or cuts. Uh, I can't edit yet. I haven't got my head round doing that. So I'm doing this in one take and doing the best job I can. I've got some notes written down, so we'll crack on. Uh, initially, then, I did speak about build quality. If you know anything about AGT, which most air gunners do, you know what they're about. The, the, these guns... Uh, the, the build quality is exceptional. I love the finish on the Vixen. What, what, one of the first things what drew me to it um, when I looked at one before I purchased it was I, visual, I visioned myself out in the rain with this and thinking that it's not, it's not going to have a problem in the rain because there's nothing really can go wrong because of, because of the way it's been built, the, the design and stuff and the original barrel is like an alloy, like a like a very light alloy. Um, this is not the original shroud, by the way. This is an aftermarket uh, silencer, so it's a little bit longer than the original long version. Um, I think it's a, I think it's about three inches longer. It's still quite short. Um, but I think in all weathers, this gun has been brilliant for me. It's never jammed. Um, it's super accurate. It's brilliant. It fills up to three hundred bar. Uh, shot count. I think before it goes off reg, I can do about. I can do about eight magazines, um, and then it just starts dripping off, uh, falling off reg. Then and. You, you do notice your accuracy just only slightly uh, when, when it starts dropping off reg. But it's plenty of shots. I mean, the, this bottle, <laughs> you can put a lot of air in it. Um, and it'll last you a good night on the rats or whatever it is you shoot. Um, probably probably 90% of, um, of the things I shoot are rats. Obviously, that's my channel, Rats in the Reticles. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is the action. Uh, as you know, as you know, 
I think it is all ATTA rifles are ambi. So you can you can like I'm a lefty, I shoot left-handed, but I cock my gun with my right hand. So it's I have I have the the cock and lever on the right hand side. It takes two minutes to switch it over to this side. I will do a video um in the next few weeks because I don't think there is any actually on YouTube showing you how to do it. Not I've had a quick look and I can't see any. But I'm gonna do a video showing you how to change it over just for people who aren't confident enough to do it and want to maybe send the gun off or get a gunsmith to do it or something. It's really easy to do yourself. Um I love the feel of this when it goes to the shoulder. It's like you can literally shoot one handed with a vixen. It's it's so light, two two point three kilograms. Um I walk around with it in one hand. I don't use a strap or anything like that. The pad adds a little bit of weight on it, like, but other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. And this aftermarket shroud is, I think it's lighter than the alloy one. Um, it's ca I think it's carbon anyway. Um, and this brings the bark down from about, I believe, it's, I, think, I think it's around about 68 decibels. And this is now around about 56 decibels. So it's, it's mouse far quiet. Really, really quiet gun. Um, it's got great features on it. A uh, little Picatinny rail here underneath to add whatever you want to it. Yeah, you can get one of them magazine holders if, if that's what tickles your fancy. Um, the butt pad is adjustable. A lot of people have problems with these butt pads. I personally haven't owned this for two years. Yeah, I know a lot of people snap when they over tighten it. Um, and that's probably what it is. Uh, the fact that people are over tightening them and, and they snap. But I like this adjustability as well. It gives you plenty of plenty of reach for where you want your gun to sit on your shoulder. Uh, trigger. Two stage. Out the box. Feels feels lovely. Um, it's quite a broad trigger on the Vixen. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to. I love where the safety is. Safety is just here. I love that. I like that's really good. And you can make it quiet. If you, if you want to make it quiet, if you're out on the rats in a barn or something, if you want to make it quiet, you just you just pop your finger on the other side and it's a lot quieter. Um mm. next thing I want to talk about is accuracy. This gun it can be shoot by an it can be shot by a novice shooter. You don't have to be a a, a brilliant shooter. Um, yeah, you can put pellet on pellet for up to probably forty yards, fifty meters or so. Um, this will shoot pellet on pellet. Most of the ATT victims like the Hades. Um, fifteen point. 15.89 grains, I think the Hades are. This loves the Hades. This was, to, to be honest with you, it's not really fussy. The DCZ barrels in these guns are amazing. If you know anything about air rifles, you know CZ are brilliant when it comes to barrels. Um, it's to do with like the twist rate and stuff like that. And I think it's called Hammer Forged, if your memory serves me well. Um, Right, a couple of things. I've gone over most things what I like about the gun. Um, things what I dislike about it. Right, first thing I don't like about it is a plastic trigger. I really think that AGT just should have pushed the bolt out a little bit and put a steel trigger on it. I think it'd just be lovely with a steel trigger. And one maybe that's not so broad. But it does, as I said before, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, the other gripe is how small the fill gauge is. If the pressure gauge, sorry. It's smaller than a five pence piece. Um, my eyesight's not the best. I have to squint to look at it, to be honest. Um, but I never, ever, I never let it go below uh, halfway. I always top it back up again then with my compressor. Um, I think, I don't know why these don't come with a dust plug 
um, the gentleman who bought my aftermarket shroud off on eBay, um, he sent me this free of charge. With uh, come, it come with the uh, aftermarket shroud. I think it was about one hundred and twenty quid. The aftermarket shroud. If you want to get one, um, I, I highly recommend um, getting it to quieten your gun down, especially on the especially on the Vixen shorts. They do bark a little bit more than the long, probably because to do the barrel length. I'm not too sure. Um, but I know that they do bark a little bit louder than um, than the longs. But uh, my my uh, my brother's got a vixen, and this was this was louder than his slightly. I did notice that. Um, this is a one seven seven minus a two two. This was slightly louder. It could be that something to do. Uh, it could have something to do with it. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, my other gripe is the noise. You get a slight little ping from, I think it's something to do with the regulator. Regulator, when it releases, you get like a boom, boom noise. Um, it does get on your nerves a little bit. Um, but like most, like most PCPs, you're going to get some kind of noise from it obviously because it's releasing air very quickly a lot of air very quickly in that short space of time plus you've got the hammer spring doing its work as well um my last gripe about the vixen is um i did say before that that i like this but sometimes this is quite sharp and it digs into your shoulder especially if like if you're on trigger sticks or anything or, or, or you're resting for 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 a while, it, this does dig into your shoulder. I've tried moving it to different positions, but it, it, it's it, it's always the same. But this digs into your shoulder after a while um, uh, when when you've got it like this for a long period of time. So um, I hope I've covered most 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 important things. Um, but if you're gonna if you're thinking of buying one, um, I would highly recommend an AGT Vixen. Uh, you, you can pick these up for around a grand um, used and I think they're around about 1300 quid now from um, from gun shops but they're definitely definitely uh, worth considering to, to buy an AGT Vixen because the build quality, the accuracy, the consistency of your shot count um, and the overall feel of the gun and my favorite thing as i said before early in the video it's so friendly for any any weather i've shot it in all weathers it this this gun has been soaking wet and you just get a hole throw an air dryer on it get a towel on it dry it off and it's it, it comes back as good as new nothing fails on it it's never failed me in two years um never once i've never ever once had an issue with it touch wood and i don't think i will um i would never part with it um i know people say never say never but i wouldn't part with this gun no de definitely not um so i hope you've you've enjoyed this i hope you haven't bored you um i'm new to, to youtube um i'm going to be uploading some of my ratting videos soon once i get my head around how to edit i've got um, I've got just over two years of footage. I've shot thousands of rats, but I need to obviously edit the videos down and stuff like that. But I've got a lot of action, a lot of fun, a lot of funny ones as well. Um, what what I'm going to be uploading to YouTube soon. So if you consider subscribing, that'd be fantastic. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment if you think I've missed anything out or you disagree with anything I've said. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem at all. So. Until next time on my next video, thank you very much for watching and shoot safe everyone. Bye bye.